Meanwhile, the Port of Corpus Christi celebrating a milestone, announcing they ended 2020 with record tonnage passing through the economic gateway. Port officials say it's mainly due to a huge increase in crude oil shipments. Our Bill Churchwell spoke with the port CEO about what this means for the port's future. The Port of Corpus Christi, already known as the largest port in the U.S. in total tonnage, has broken yet another record, moving 159.7 million tons in 2020 during a global pandemic, a 31% increase over 2019. And a lot of it is said to be crude oil shipments. We now export more than 50% of all crude oil from the United States right here in Corpus Christi. December alone saw another record, 1.9 million barrels per day of oil exports. There were other increases in LNG shipments as well as agricultural exports. Sean Strawbridge, a CEO of the Port of Corpus Christi, says the activity comes despite challenges in the energy sector caused by COVID-19. Luckily, we actually saw a bit of a recovery, uh, but 2021, I think, is going to be what I'm, I'm calling the pause year. In other words, that growth trajectory that we've been on for so long, we're probably going to plateau here, albeit at a much higher level. Strawbridge still expects 2021 to be another challenging year as we are not quite out of the pandemic, but says there is still a worldwide appetite for Texas energy, and that's a good sign. And as for the new administration and what it means for the local oil and gas industry as a whole, Strawbridge says he certainly believes we can expect more regulations as President Biden focuses on climate policies. But when it comes to exports, the lifeblood of the port. So there is a foreign policy component that that we think the Biden administration will continue to promote U.S. energy exports, albeit in a more responsible way than perhaps uh, they have felt we've done historically. Uh, so we certainly think we'll continue to see that growth. Meanwhile, the effort to deepen and widen the Corpus Christi ship channel is well underway and is expected to be completed in late 2023. The project just receiving an additional 100 million federal dollars last month as part of the passage of the Water Resources Development Act, something that could lead to future records for the port in the years to come. Bill Churchwell, 3 News.